What's up guys, this is Billy from Dunkademics. Today I'm going to tell you who the best free throw line dunker of all time is. The reason I'm making this video is because I posted a poll on Twitter asking my followers who they thought was the best free throw line dunker. Twitter only allows you a few choices, so I gave them James White, Zach Levine, Michael Jordan, or Mike Conley. In the tweet I wrote that I thought the answer was obvious, but I wanted to know what my fans thought, so that's why I posted the question. Clearly the answer isn't so obvious because my pick for the best free throw line dunker of all time was not their pick. So here are the results of that poll. You can see Zach Levine number one, 41%, uh, followed by Michael Jordan, and then James White, and then Mike Conley. Not getting much love on here. Sorry Mike, you're one of the best of all time. Uh, my fans need to look you up on YouTube real quick. Now, these answers are why I'm making this video. As I said in the tweet, I thought the answer was obvious, but clearly based on these results, the answer isn't so obvious. So I felt that I need to inform uh, the dunk world and the people outside of the dunk world why James White is the best free throw line dunker of all time. So as you saw on the poll, James White only got 24% of the votes. Now when I posted the poll, I thought, you know, maybe he wouldn't be an obvious number one because maybe not everybody knows who he is because he's not, he was only in the NBA for a couple of years. So I can understand him not having the overwhelming support of the fans. But I thought for sure that my fans in particular, who I thought would have a good knowledge of dunking, would know that James White is clearly the best free throw line dunker. So I'm a little disappointed in my Twitter followers, who maybe aren't all Dunkademics fans, maybe they just followed me because of retweets on other pages, but I thought that they would have a better understanding of the free throw line dunks. But I'm going to give my fans a pass, I'm going to let you know why James White is the best free throw line dunker of all time kind of tell you why some of the other guys aren't as good, and just give you my overall opinion on it. So I think the number one argument for James White as the best free throw line dunker of all time is that he's the only guy who consistently could dunk from behind the free throw line. Most of the time when people talk about free throw line dunks, they talk about guys like MJ and Dr. J who took off from well in front of the free throw line. While these have always been considered free throw line dunks, and yes, I consider them free throw line dunks, they're not legitimate behind the free throw line. Now, although some other guys in the NBA have taken off from behind the free throw line, James White really set the bar as how far he could take off from and what dunks he could do. So the best example here is actually my favorite free throw line dunk of all time. It's James White over in Turkey. He actually took off from behind the free throw line on a windmill. Now you're watching the video right here. You can see that not only is he a couple inches behind the free throw line, but he's also off-center. So if you look at the free throw line, the very middle of the free throw line is 15 feet. But if you go over, the further you get from the center obviously is more than 15 feet. We can't tell exactly how far it is, but you can tell that it's clearly far enough off-center to be a few inches and then add the length that he's already behind the free throw line. And you've got a windmill that's maybe three or four inches behind the free throw line and he dunked it with room to spare. That's why that's my favorite free throw line dunk of all time is because A, it's a legit free throw line dunk, B, it's a windmill free throw line, and C, he had room to spare. You can see after he dunks the ball, he's kind of in disbelief himself. He throws the ball at his head. I thought that was kind of funny. I mean, it's just crazy to take off from that far from behind the line and still be able to windmill it. So James Wright was in the D League for a while. Uh, he competed in a D-League dunk contest, won the dunk contest. He gave us a few free throw line dunks in this contest. Um, he had one legitimate free throw line behind the free throw line. NBA Draft Express gave us some great video of that. Slowed it down in Exmo. Uh, showed it at the beginning of this video. Here it is again. When I filmed James White in 2010, uh, he actually told me and a few other guys that the furthest he's taken off from uh, to grab the rim was the top of the key. So that's almost a three point line. He couldn't dunk it from the three-point line, but he could take off from the top of the key and still grab the rim. That's just insane to me. Now there's no video evidence of this, so maybe he was, you know, like a free throw line dunk, maybe his heel was on the top of the key, but regardless, that's just crazy to take off from that far. Now aside from his legit behind the free throw line dunks, he also had the craziest on the free throw line dunks. Once again, that dunk contest in Turkey, he dunked from on the free throw line and did a between the legs dunk. Now some people out there might say, oh, but Zach Levine did a between the legs from free throw line dunk. But clearly, as you see in his 2016 performance, it wasn't nearly as far as James White's. James White has done this multiple times, 
I think the first time he probably did it was that Cincinnati open run. But here in this turkey contest, you can see, clearly see he's on the free throw line, between the legs, with room to spare. I actually wouldn't be surprised if he could do a legit between the legs from free throw line. Well, I take that back. He's too old now, but I'm sure that he probably used to be able to dunk from the free throw line between the legs, legit behind it. We've also seen James White a few times do a tomahawk from on the free throw line. Uh, I think my favorite is his one in the college dunk contest. He took off from just on the free throw line, brought it all the way back to his shoulder blades and did a two-hand tomahawk. That's one of the most graceful dunks that we've seen. Um, he did it in the NBA dunk contest too, but it wasn't quite as far. He was like a step in front of the free throw line. By the way, just to clarify a few things about that NBA dunk contest, a lot of people will discredit James White because he underperformed in the NBA dunk contest, but they don't realize that he was already in his 30s when he competed in the NBA dunk contest well past his athletic prime. I know guys like Remix are still dunking at 35. For a guy like James White, who's more reliant on his spring rather than, than his strength, um, it's very hard to sustain that springiness into your 30s. Regardless of what guys like Remix can do, the fact is James White was past his prime in the NBA dunk contest, so you can't really hold that against him. That was not James White in his prime, so forget about it. Another one of my favorite free throw line dunks from James White was kind of like a pump, almost windmill, where he brought it back and dunked it from the free throw line. Um, the only thing that I hate about this contest was that the entire circle was white and you couldn't see legit where the free throw line was. We know that he took off about the free throw line, he was probably a little bit in front of it, but for him to do that motion and he finished it really easily. He had a lot of room to spare. I thought that was really crazy. One of my favorite free throw line dunks. Another overseas contest. I think this is the first time he did it in a contest, but he took off, instead of from the free throw line straight on, he took off from the side of the key, uh, almost the elbow, a little bit in front of it. So you can't tell exactly how far it is, but you know it's pretty close to the free throw line. And he did a swing, cradle to his left hand, and dunked it and I think this was already kind of past his athletic prime um, but he was still flying in this dunk contest and I wish he would have tried this type of dunk you know earlier in his career I think he could have done it really well now for the 41 percent of you who thought that Zach Levine was the best free throw on dunker Zach Levine amazing dunker his 2016 performance was one of the best of all time but free throw wise his windmill his regular free throw and his between the legs free throw were all well in front of where James White takes off from. The only legitimate argument for Zach Levine was that viral video that he had um, jumping from just inside the free throw line and doing a 360. That's one of the nastiest free throw line dunks of all time for sure. I wish we could tell exactly where he took off from. I wish there were better angles. I wish it wasn't just in the practice. That's really the best argument for Zach Levine was that 360 because that's something that James White never did. But all of James White's other dunks, I would still put him ahead of Zach Levine by a decent margin. Michael Jordan, same thing. Listen, Michael Jordan's great, great basketball player, great free throw line dunker, but most of his dunks were in front of the free throw line. I think he had one that was where he put the tape down, where he was legit behind it, but his iconic pump from the free throw line, he was well in front of it, and it was basically a little pump, mostly because he could palm the ball so well. Um, it's not an extravagant dunk. It's nothing on the level of James White, that's for sure. Mike Conley, who actually only got 4% in my Twitter poll, I think he has the best argument against uh, James White because he was the shortest guy on this list. He's only six feet tall, track athlete, triple jumper, and he could take off from behind the line at just six feet tall. Um, he never did any tricks from behind the line. Um, one of my favorite dunks of his was actually a two-hander from just inside the free throw line where he actually hung on the rim on a two-hander with all that momentum and if he would have slipped he would have had a serious injury luckily he didn't but that dunk was crazy just because of how dangerous it was so there it is that's why i think james white is the best free throw line dunker of all time i encourage you to search james white on youtube watch all of his old videos all of his old dunk contests overseas uh, mcdonald's college nba see why he's the best free throw line dunker I showed you a few examples in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you did like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications. If you want to get a Dunkademics t-shirt, uh, hit the link in the description, theloyalist.com slash Dunkademics, and I'll see you next time.